This video is going to contain an example about the compound interest formula, and I'm actually going to use two different ones in this video. So I have this scenario, what is the total amount for an investment of $1,700 invested at 6% for 15 years? And then I have these different compounding periods. So A through C, it's either quarterly, monthly, or daily. I'm going to use a different formula for those than I am for part D. So for A through C, if you're given quarterly, monthly, daily, semi-annually, something like that, you are going to use that first formula on the screen. That's your compound interest formula. If it says continuously, meaning it's not a set amount of times per year like it would be for quarterly, monthly, et cetera, you're going to use this new formula, which I will refer to as the PERT formula. It contains the constant E. So again, here's the problem. I start with $1,700, so that's gonna be P. The rate is 6%, that's gonna be R and the amount of time, 15 years, is T. Now, if it's compounded quarterly, N is four. If it's compounded monthly, N is 12. If it's compounded daily, N is 365. So for those first three, you're gonna use that first compound interest formula. For the last one, we're gonna use PERT. So if you wanted to pause the video and try these yourself first, I would highly recommend it. Otherwise, I'm going to go on with the first one, compounding quarterly. You plug everything in. P is 1,700. That goes in the front. Then we have 1 plus the rate. Make sure you turn it into 0 0.06 divided by 4, which is N. And then your exponent is N times T, which is 4 times 15. So you go in and simplify. Inside the parentheses becomes 1.015. We raise it to the 60th power before multiplying by 1700, and this should be your answer. So if you made a mistake somewhere, go ahead and pause the video. Um, regardless of that, I really do want you to pause the video so that you can try monthly and daily on your own. So right now, go ahead and pause so that you can try the formula with those other two, B and C. Hopefully you tried them on your own. This is my work. Go ahead and pause the video so you can make any corrections if you have to, look over my work. Um, one thing I will say with part C, notice in the parentheses I end up with 1.00016 and then I put some dots after it. Please do not clear your calculator when you're doing a problem like this because if you round too early, your answers will be off. You don't want to round until the very end. So keep the numbers in your calculator and use them as you go. So you end up with 0 0.06 divided by 365. Then don't clear it, add the one. Don't clear it, raise it to the exponent. Don't clear it, multiply by 1700. So hopefully you got the first three. The last one, we don't have an N. We have continuously. So we're going to use the PERT formula. We're still using P, R, and T from earlier, but this time you're gonna do E raised to the 0 0.06 times 15 power. So the first thing you wanna do is 0 0.06 times 15 in your calculator. So I would recommend you do that on your own first. Then you should get 0 0.9, 0 0.9. It's kinda of hard to tell. What you're going to do next as your next step is E raised to the 0.9. So in your calculator, depending on the calculator you have, you're either gonna hit 0.9 and then the E button, or you're gonna hit the E button and then 0.9. Um, different calculators have it in a different sequence, but you're finding E to the 0.9 power. And then once you have that number, which is about 2.45, do not clear it. That's why I have those dots after it. Multiply by 1700, and you should have an answer, which is very similar to part C, just a few cents off.